Hey, welcome to this new kind of sub-episode of the Building the Laser um, series. And in this episode we're going to prepare the optics for the laser. So the mirrors and the lens. And I'm going to explain how the beam is going to be guided and how the mirrors are going to be mounted accurately so that we can, you know, without problems, guide the laser beam to where it needs to be. And I'm going to use these mirrors from the previous laser cutter and you may be able to see that they are pretty dirty you know, for the for laser mirror standard. And you know, before we get started I think I'm just going to clean these up using some you know, stainless steel cleaner which should get rid of all the, the dirt and um, fats that's that are on there from just touching it. And because of that, I'm going to use some gloves. Okay, here I'm back with the gloves and I'm just going to use this towel, which is made for, I think, wine glasses. And yeah, we can't use just this because this might scratch it up. So I've already gone ahead and cleaned this one. As you can see, that's pretty good. It definitely has some scratches on that. So we might not choose this one. We're only gonna need three, so we can discard one of them. And I've actually gone ahead and bought another one. Just for the case if uh, two of these are not good enough. I'm just gonna lightly, just lightly clean it up. Oh yeah, that's already doing pretty well. And as you can see, that's, that's pretty good. No, uh, but just n not good enough. No, uh, you know, CO2 laser mirrors have to be really, like, they have to be near perfect. Otherwise, you're just going to lose tons of power with uh, on these mirrors. And of course, if that happens, you lose power at the at the laser head. And of course, another problem is that these lasers, uh, these mirrors, when they absorb too much of the laser beam, they're going to heat up. And that's not good. Yeah, I think that's satisfactory. Alright, I'm just going to do that and see you later. Alright, these are the basic optic components we're going to use for this laser. I've got the three mirrors, which are pretty damn good as you can see. Well, this has a scratch on it, but I think it's going to be fine. And of course the lens, which is going to focus the beam onto one very, very tiny spot, so that the energy density on this spot is going to be very high. And, well, this is going to depending on the material, probably um, sublimate the material. So it's going from the solid state to the um, gas state in one bang, basically. And then we're going to use some pressurized air to just blow the material out. And this is basically how, uh, how a CO2 laser cuts organic materials, such as um, wood or PMMA, which is acrylic glass. And now the big problem is how do we get these mirrors arranged to each other that they actually work. And this is where these components come into place. Okay, so you can imagine the uh, basic setup to be like this. The laser comes from here, like from the laser tube. It's going to be reflected from this mirror to this mirror here. This is the, you know, y-axis and this is the x-axis moving here and it's going to be reflected from here to here then it's going to be reflected from there into this head and then the laser beam is going to be reflected in this head like from this axis into the vertical axis and then the lens is going to sit right here and it's going to be focusing the beam right around here onto the material and this is the port for the pressurized air. Now let's install the mirrors into these. Now this is the place where the kind of hacking begins because on a uh, 
Although the way this is intended to be used is that you can put a mirror of the right size in here and, the, and just screw this down. No, screw it here and here. And it's going to be held in place perfectly. I can't do that right now because I reused the smaller mirrors from the other laser cutter. And as you can see, they won't be in, held in place by this. So what I'm going to do is just take a very tiny amount of glue and glue these into place. And yeah, that's going to be fine. And, uh, some people of you might be cringing at that idea because the glue might be distorting this mirror just a little bit. But that's fine because we can actually adjust this um, mirror plane here using these screws. You know, if this is like this, you can use the screws to basically dial it into place. And the glue idea is not a problem. So let's do that. All right, so, oh, well, I think my glove is disintegrating. Oh, doesn't matter too much. All right, um, now what we're going to use is just JB Weld, a little bit of this two-part epoxy. Um, now mind you, this is completely overkill. Like, just some normal super glue should work absolutely perfectly. But I don't feel like buying super glue. I don't have anything in my shop right now. So I'm just going to can so I'm just going to use this. And uh, yeah. I mean the forces on this are basically zero. You know, other than I don't know, gravity and inertia, there's going to be absolutely no forces on these mirrors. So I'm guessing that even like uh, some plain old normal household glue should work absolutely perfectly. But, you know, I just feel like doing a little overkill today. You know, this should already be enough. Let me just take the mirror, put it on there, press it down lightly. And make sure that it's in the middle, just about in the middle. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, now when this glue is set, this is not going to move at all. all right, so while we wait for these to glue, we uh, can go for the lens. And oh, from this perspective, it looks like this is not centered, but it definitely is, so don't worry. Okay, so this is the, the laser head, and we're just gonna, man, this glove, well. This is the laser head, and we can screw this Off, so like this, and then we can put the lens into here. And let me just find a way to get the sliding all better. Okay, so what we're going to do is to screw this out like this, and then we can put the lens in here and make sure that, you know, as you can see, there's a concave and convex side of this lens. This is a little bit uh, concave, and this is convex. We want the convex side uh, facing the material. Whoop. Oh no, oh no, it's fine, okay. Facing the material, like this. Right, now it sits in there and we can just screw this back on. As you can see, there's some plastic here so we don't scratch up the lens. All right, just tighten that up a little bit more, like this. Perfect. And the lens is in there. Great. And now we can just screw this on. And this should be perfect. And um, the focal point of this lens is about 51 millimeters. So let me just find a ruler. There it is. And uh, here's a little notch for where the lens sits. So around Five is the uh, focal point. So around, uh, you can't really see that, around here. We actually want it to be pretty close to the nozzle because if it's very far from the nozzle, the pressure air is not going to really uh, reach the material. So it has to be, uh, the material has to be around here where my fingertip is. 
so that we can actually use the pressure of the air to, to, to blow the material out. Right, now we can just put this in here. The great thing about this is that we can actually uh, set the height, you know, right, and tighten it down and it's not going to move. Okay, so the glue has sufficiently cured. I think it's been around 15 minutes and that's great. And now we can just screw these into place. Just make sure not to drop them. That would be not so great for the mirrors. Just like that. Good old push. And there it is. You can't actually see it. Oh no, there it is. Great. Now you can see, uh, I put my hand here. This is a uh, 45 degrees mirror. Okay, so you might have noticed that all of these parts are black. And this is just because uh, we don't want to have very reflective surfaces where the beam is going to be, other than the mirrors, of course. Okay, so let me just... Okay, so these are the op optic components finished. And, you know, they are basically right now perfect to use. They're ready to use. And you might want to see these like in a test setup, um, just been tested on the ray tube. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to test the laser tube just open like you see on many videos on YouTube. Because even a 40 watt CO2 laser is really, really dangerous. Um, and in about, I don't know, nine, in 10 cases, it's going to be fine and your test is going to be all right and you see, wow, it's a cool laser. But in the last case, in the 10th case, you're going to shoot an eye out. And, you know, I like to be able to see things. So I'm not going to do that. You know, if you want to see that, you can just Google that or watch it on YouTube. But if you want to see these um, being used, just be patient and we'll get there. All right. Bye.